Hey guys, um, here, um, for, well, for this video, I'll be doing another haul. This is my last haul for the year. I don't think I will have any more things that will arrive before New Year's, and I wanted to mainly do this video to keep myself updated with what I got throughout the whole year, which is why I like doing the um, monthly hauls a lot just to make sure what I got in each month and keep track of everything. So uh, I have a lot of things that are still on their way um, and these were ordered in early December so I'll expect them mid-January. Um, there's a lot of comebacks as well during January so I'm pre-ordering um, uh, Cosmic Girls uh, mini album because I, I they just impressed me a lot with Secret uh, and I think this song is going to be a really good song hopefully you know I'm not wrong but I have high hopes for them so I want to help them out uh, of course AOA I want to pre-order that I'll be pre-ordering the black one or like the darker concept I don't know if I'll be buying the other one, but for right now, I like the pictures from the darker concept. They don't look as awkward as the um, other concept. <laughs> well, we don't at, at the moment. I don't know what each concept is, but I'm going towards the darker side. And um, April's uh, new mini album that they will be releasing. Um, I mainly well, I have enjoyed April's music since they debuted it, but I just never got into buy anything, and I mainly want to just pre-order that because right now DSP is on the edge of, like, they're really tight on money. So I want to help out April with their new release, so there we have more chances to hopefully see CARD or KRRD, whatever you're going to call them. Um, you know, promoting a lot this year as well. So, um, and of course, uh, I, I think they'll have a good song. Um, because I've enjoyed, especially, they've gotten better with every release. And yes, so enough of that talk. I want to do kind of like a quick, I guess, unboxing as well and then talk. Um, since these were releases from this year. And I'll start with 17. Okay, so... Uh, for this release, this is not my favorite release by them. Um, I still hold um, on to their second mini album as the one I, I think um, I can listen to on repeat. I would I I would say that they've all improved um, a lot, um, especially musically. But um, boom boom, um, it's a nice song. Um, I have to be honest. I haven't listened to this that much because I've been so busy. But I, who knows? This might change and become like my favorite mini album by them. But um, these are the photo cards I got for for this album, and I got Mingyu. So <laughs> at least I got one of my bias. Uh, and 17, I'm always hoping to get him Vernon, but I got Mingyu this time, so I, I love everyone in 17, so I don't mind on who I get, so got Mingyu, and then I got DK or Dokyam and Joshua, so really ha happy about that. I Oh, and then the paddle, I got this one. This is Uji. Is paddle. Um, so here's what this looks like. Has all the names. And these are like the lyrics. I'm not gonna do like a like a detailed unboxing because Tina Davidson does the best unboxing. So yeah, no one can compete with her. But. Obviously, I wanted to show you guys what photo cards I got. Um, and then, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to sell any photo cards for 17. 
But I think I will be planning on selling some photo cards that I just... I'm not a photo card collector. It's just not my thing. But this concept... This photo book has... This version has the most pictures and it has my favorite pictures as well. So I'm glad that the one that has the most pictures... Um, is the one I like the most. But... Yes. Oh, look at this picture with Minghao, the eight. Everyone's just been improving so much. Vernon, yes. <laughs> but yes, 17 has been... Um, they have grown a lot this past year. And I'm really glad that they got in the support. Um... They were, uh, they deserved because, uh, they basically saved Pledis from just going downhill. I see a lot of big things for Pledis this year and, uh, maybe some sad things. I can see after school disbanding anytime soon. And if they do continue, I don't think they'll ever revive what they had before because, um, I think that once Yui, um, Liji, um, and Nana, uh, if once their contracts are up, they're going to ditch Pledis and do something else. Um, there has been reports of Liji, or Liji, uh, <laughs> sorry, that's like the Korean way of saying it. Um, uh, Liji's complaining about how she doesn't get any promotions from the company and, we haven't heard anything from like after school in Korea as a whole group and more it's gonna be like what um four year no two thousand and like four years now so or three or four years since first love and basically they've disappeared in Korea. They released some stuff in Japan but other than that uh, we we haven't heard anything from them, so um, they're probably Seventeen's probably going to promote a lot, and then Platus Girls once they you know have their own group name are going to debut. I'll be following them. I'll be following them. Uh, I've seen them from the little I've the little from the little bit I've seen. They are really really they're really really solid group and even in the audition rounds for produce 101 they were probably like the mo best trained among the ones that are auditioned like as like a a group unit Th they impressed me a lot so i'm looking forward to planet's girls whenever they debut and they're probably going to be i guess the I wouldn't like saying it, but like the replacement for after school and that label. And then hopefully we do get to see more of newest. But as many of you know, their comebacks have flopped hard. And even though their music has been improving a lot since they've, what they've done in the past, um, they still haven't gotten any love. So, you know, hopefully newest gets like a breakout song and hopefully get to promote a lot more and then kind of connecting to after school since they debuted around the same time a secret uh we we don't know what's going on with secret as a group they did do a christmas christmas video together and they posted some pictures but i don't know any what's going to happen I've always enjoyed the solo stuff from uh, June and Hyosung. And yes, yeah, so my collection for Secret is complete for Korean discography. And um, I only need June's uh, Bobby Doll, her second mini album. But I really wanted to get this because this was one of my favorite releases in the beginning of the year. Um, was really catchy tune and for Hyosung um, since uh, she has limited editions uh, I always decide to get her limited editions 
I love her so much. So uh, I have her uh, all of her solos, but the limited editions of them. So this is the photo card I got. Um, she is adorable, and this is what it looks like on the back. I don't know. I know there's diff a lot of versions of photo cards for this, and this is a postcard I got. I don't. I can't remember if it's the same, but. Uh, yeah, this is Hyo Sung's colored, the limited edition. I'll flip through the photo book quickly. If you want me to do an unboxing or a review for this, uh, I'll I'll be willing to make it. Um, but she's just absolutely gorgeous, and yes, yeah, so uh, I think she will do probably another solo if if Secret doesn't do anything, and. June solo actually was the best selling one one of the best selling um solos that um they they released I don't know like I don't know how to describe it it did well it it sold well for what was expected for it to be to sell but it's and then finally uh last but not la la but not least uh, Joan Hyun's uh, first full-length album. I forgot what this is called. I think this is called She Is, but I don't. I think. Yeah, I think it's called. This is called She Is. Well, regardless, this is his first full-length album. Uh, I wouldn't say this was um, out of this world or like I'm left speechless. I'm more of um, my style is geared more towards Temin's, uh solo sound um because they kind of have their own own individual sound i think like if i were to say what one on you would do once he gets the solo if he does want to get one or if sam gives him one um he'll probably do more of like a ballad i think that fits more of him um and he would do a very um pop but like more bright pop sound while Temin does that darker um, pop and slightly um, R&B um, rocket sound, and and then Jonghyun is obviously more of R&B soulful sound and sometimes jazzy. Uh, but I like that it's different, so it gives you um, kind of a, a feeling of what each member is like and their personality. And Jonghyun is. Like, uh, like he's just I, he's just one of those um, artists that is he's just like oozes, oozes sexiness <laughs> naturally without like trying really hard, and that's just how I how I always um, seen him, and you can obviously tell that with like his music and all that. But this release didn't do much for me. This is why it took a long time for me to get it. And this is what the um, photo card I got. I don't know. Like I said, like I don't keep up with photo cards or anything. So I don't know how many versions there are. But this is the photo card I got for Jonghyun. And he had pink hair during this era. I do think that this was just really random. Uh, when Looking back of when this was released, like SM was just... Just make an announcement like for Taeyeon, Tiffany, Jonghyun, um, who else was promoting around that time? NCT got a, a mini album. Uh, it was just all over the place. Oh, Luna, of course. Luna was, was also had a solo around that time. Not all at the same time, but it was like really close together. So nobody got like their individual um, uh, focus. Um but I do like that SM focused a lot on the solo stuff. So they did all great. Um, but I haven't listened to this that much. I do know that there's some standout tracks that are better than the title track. Uh, but I can't like pinpoint them out of my head. Or just... I, I have to give it more listens. But I had it. I found this at a good price. So obviously I had to get it. And... Um, because I collect shiny, uh, and then since I'm talking about like I guess older groups, 
Um, yes, so Shiny's going to be one of my groups that I want to um, start focusing more on. Um, I always focus a lot on my top three groups, and I've always put Shiny on the um, back. I don't know why, because I, I, always lo I have always loved every single one of their songs and their comebacks, and they're my second favorite group. With, like, the top three, like, I can say, like, two and three are very, like, close, because number one's number one, but <laughs> I've always uh, kept up more with Infinite, because they make, um, uh, like, they they announce their comebacks, like, really, really um, uh, ahead of time. Even though, like, sometimes there are no teaser, teasers, but they start saying that they're going to come back. While Shiny will, like, I knew Shiny was going to come back this year, and I mentioned it in one of my videos that they were going to come back um, th th this year, but I didn't know when. So I, the comebacks for Shiny are a lot, a lot of the times are, like, really random, so I don't have money, and I always ha already have spent it on other albums so it's just like a thing with shiny every time they come back i i've always kind of just only bought their regular release like the but not the repack so for instance i need st i still need to get hello i still need to get married to the music i and then some of their albums in japan so like, I feel like a bad fan for, like, not keeping up with them that much. But, I, you know, obviously, I've always tried to support them as much as I can by buying um, whenever I can. And I always try to remind myself, like, always try to buy, like, a shiny album that I don't have um, yet. But at least I have, like, a decent collection and have always bought something every year um, for from shiny. So... I'll focus a lot on Shiny, obviously, um, buy some things that I want from Don Jinki that I still need. Um, what else? Um, Brian Eye Girls are going to be one of my high folk, one of the groups I will focus on a lot. Um, I'll go, I'm going to get whatever I have left for Kata. Um, I have, I put off buying from Kata because I spent a lot of money on the, uh, full full length album collection in Japan. I made an unboxing of that um a couple of months back, but that was really expensive and I I was just like, okay, for Kata I am done for right now, but I will focus on more of more of their stuff next year. And they're doing a lot of solo stuff and it's kind of expensive as well since it's mainly in Japan. Sungyeon just re announced that she was going to release a single so that's just been adding up so yeah and then obviously SNSD they're going Tan's definitely going to get another solo album we're going to get uh, another album from SNSD and I think it will be a full length album a Sohyun album and I think we'll get a Yuri release um, because that's been rumored um, more than any other member. Um, if anything, I wouldn't be surprised if Sunny gets a release, because she's probably the one that has the most potential to showcase what she has, because um, have you seen her pre-debut stuff? And she, just in general, um, Sunny is a good singer. She's probably, outside of like Tetiso, she is the best one and but yeah I, was, I think Sunny or um Yuri will get a solo I don't think he he will get a solo or um so young or Yuna that's just I just don't I don't think they're going to get solos um what else um I will also be getting so I talked about shiny and obviously, like, within my top five groups for each, I'll I'll try to fill in as much as I can. And, um, like I said, Seventeen and Different are, like, my new... Uh, they're, like, my babies. So, they those are the ones I... 
I, I am like willing to, you know, support all the time, like from like the newer top of generation groups, like they are, I'm here for them. Like they've have achieved to be <laughs> within my top 10 groups. And, um, I made a list on um, a top song list for this year, but I think I need to fix like one of the, one of the copyright issues, but, uh, rough was my favorite song of the year. And definitely a game changer for me when it comes to um, liking a new girl group that much. Uh, G Friend released um, like two amazing albums this year, so I'm really proud of them. And yes, so uh, we're we'll probably I'm probably going to have a larger haul in terms of newer things um, in January for, that will release of things that were released um, in, in November and December of this year. So, obviously, the Jessica solo. <laughs> I, I pre-ordered that as well. Like, I was... I, yeah, I gotta support my queen. And yes, now this is like a long video, but I really wanted to talk about that. Um, I also have a sale video up if anyone's interested uh, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of things for space reasons, and I just don't want to keep albums that I'm not using, and it's, it's just kind of useless. So, yes, if you have any other questions, obviously comment down below. Uh, yes, I'll see you guys on the next video, and hopefully um, the new year is ends on a more positive note and there isn't as many scandals or issues around the world because 2016 was definitely a tough year for a lot of us not only k-pop fans but just people in general so uh i hope that um it changes that the new year is a new, fresh new start so bye guys